So the first regular season matchup occurred on November 7th, and this was the only Carter Hart versus Carey Price matchup we got this entire season. And it was a good one. It went to overtime, and the Flyers ended up edging the Habs in overtime 3-2. to The Flyers were up 2-0 early in the game. Price was playing unbelievable in the net, as usual. And then the Habs tied with goals from Weber and Chirot, uh, both from the defense there. And then the Flyers ended it early in overtime. A really close game, back and forth, lots of high danger chances on both sides of the ice. A very fun and entertaining game. Then they faced again on November 30th, and we saw Kincaid versus Brian Elliott. And Brian Elliott was fantastic in this game, robbing the Habs on numerous occasions. Uh, Flyers ended up winning this one as well, 4-3 to three again in overtime. So another close matchup between these two teams. The goal scorers for Montreal were Yoel Armia, who was flying all over the ice in that game, and Thomas Tatar with two goals. And for the Flyers, it was Lindblom, Hayes, and Konechny. And then in overtime, Provorov scored a nasty, probably one of the goals of the year in overtime. Coast to coast, literally started from behind the net. The skating up the ice, he went from the left side of the ice to the right side, then through the legs in the ozone and deked out Carey Price for the game winner in overtime. Absolutely filthy display of skill from Provorov on that goal. So then on January 16th, we had the final matchup between these two teams in the 2019-20 season. It was uh, Lyon versus Price, so Philly was missing their starting goaltenders in this one. And this was actually a very good performance by Montreal, by the Montreal Canadiens and Carey Price. The Habs won this one 4-2-1, the goal scorers being uh, Tatar, and then Kovalchuk with two, and Lekanen with one. And then for the Flyers, it was Faraby who got up on the board for them for their only goal. Uh, the last two games of the regular season between these two teams, I think it's very hard to judge um, those two on how this series is going to go because in the uh, the second matchup of the season, it was Kincaid versus, versus Elliott and the Habs were already dealing with a few different injuries there. But then in the third matchup, the Habs were injury depleted and granted they did have Kovalchuk in the lineup, but they were missing Gallagher, Byron, um, and uh, and Drouin as well. And uh, then you look at Philly in that final game and they had Lyon in net and the Habs uh, scored four on them. So I'm not sure, you know, that would have happened if Carter Hart or Brian Elliott were in the net for that game. So hard to judge those last two games for how this series is going to go. Now here's actually a pretty good stat for Habs fans. If you look the last two seasons, the matchups between these two teams, the Habs record is 3-1-2 and two versus the Flyers. The, the Philadelphia Flyers only getting that one regulation win against us in the last two years. And we outscored them 19 to 15 in those games. So, um, and we all know there's no, uh, three on three overtime in the NHL playoffs. So that could actually help out the Habs in this series. But I do think in general, these two teams always play very fast paced, entertaining games against each other. So it is going to be a very fun series. And there's some interesting storylines right out of the gate surrounding this playoff series. First, you have Carey Price versus Carter Hart. Carey Price being the best goaltender in the world and Carter Hart kind of being his eventual Canadian heir to kind of take over the throne for Carey Price. That's what a lot of people have been talking about. And so far at 21 years, old, Carter Hart is doing a great job living up to that expectation. And then you have the coaching matchup on the bench between Claude Julien for the Habs and then two former Montreal Canadiens coaches, Elaine Vigneault and Michel Therrien on the bench for the Philadelphia Flyers. Very interesting because the last 20 to 30 years for the Habs has been coached between those three fine gentlemen. And Michel Therrien himself isn't that far off from being fired by the Habs. He'll be familiar with some of the Habs' current roster players. And then you have two of the best defensive and two-way centers in the league in Phil Deneau and Sean Couturier on opposite rosters. Another interesting storyline there. And don't forget that Nate Thompson, Uncle Nate, is playing for the Philadelphia Flyers now solid veteran experience and face-off ability on the Philadelphia Flyers fourth line. He was great for the Habs this year, especially for leadership in the room. We loved having him on our roster, but he's an enemy now, so bring it on, Unc.